Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. This in-class practice focuses on a binary LED counter. You will learn binary numbers and bit access functions, the for statement, the if-else control structure, and we will also learn the use of the serial port. In this in-class practice, we will build a 8-bit uh, binary counter. You see it here in action. 8 LEDs counting from 0 to 255 and then everything starts anew. So let's see how we can build this. Let's first remember binary numbers. Humans count in a base 10 system because they have 10 fingers. So if we look at the number 9214 that really means we have 4 times the 1 plus 1 times 10 plus 2 times 100 plus 9 times 1000 and if we add all this up then we end up at 9214. Computers on the other hand they have only two fingers so to speak. They only have on and off signals 1 and 0. So they can only count in binary numbers. So if you have a binary number 1110 one, one, that would really mean 0 times the 1 plus 1 times the 2 plus 1 times the 4 plus 1 times the 8. And so if we add all this up then we end up at 14. So 1110 one, one, is 14 in the decimal system. Let's build the counter. Here's a fritzing schematic of the Arduino uh, circuit. Here we see the Arduino Uno and we're using digital pins 2 through 9 to connect 8 LEDs. And so you see here when I put the mouse on one of these LEDs we can actually tell this is the cathode and here is the, the anode. So uh, I put the resistors in the anode side of the LED circuit and that's driven by the digital pin while the uh, cathode side is connected via the ground rail of the breadboard to the uh, ground pin of the Arduino. So we do exactly the same for all of these LEDs and that means by simply turning these eight pins on and off we can turn on and off the LEDs. I should mention that the resistors are uh, 220 ohms and that the uh, LEDs that are in the Arduino kit there the uh, longer pin uh, is the anode, the uh, positive side of the LED. The shorter one is the negative side, the cathode. This shows the implementation on the breadboard. On to the Arduino sketch. So here we see the sketch. I already uh, prepared everything. And what we will use now is a variable called counter. Right? This is our binary counter and we made it a byte so that means this variable has only 8 bits. Um, because we only want to count to uh, 255 and then it's supposed to lapse back to uh, 0. Here is the uh, setup function. We start out with a serial begin and we set the serial communication to a baud rate of 9600. That means we're sending 9600 bit per second. Uh, more about that in a, in a bit. Then the next command here is a for statement. And let me pull up the, um, the Arduino website real quick. There is a very convenient tab. When you go to Arduino CC it's called reference. And so on the language reference you find all the special um, Arduino commands. So let's see here now uh, how that for statement works. So we can click here on for and there it comes up. And so all these reference uh, sections they give you very nicely the um, syntax of those commands. So if you ever wonder if there is a semicolon or just a comma or, or something of that order um, the reference is always a good starting point. You can usually just directly, um, not here, but down down here, you could just uh, copy this and uh, put it in your uh, sketch and then modify it. 
Okay, so what we see here is in the for statement that is essentially a loop where we can um, increment or decrement a variable and so the the uh, first parameter in this in this for statement is we define a variable this is a temporary variable that's just being used for the duration we are running through this for loop and so we say here and w we make an integer named x and we set it to zero that is the uh, start condition the initialization then we have the uh, the test statement that means that tells the uh, loop when it is supposed to stop so the loop will run until x is smaller than 100 and then here we have the increment or decrement statement and in this case this is a, a, a C++ short form for x equals x plus 1 so we can just write x plus plus that's that you will see very often in uh, C code and all that does is every time the loop is executed it counts up x right you could also write minus minus then it would uh, be a decrement then you could start here at 100 and ask whether x is larger than 0 then it would count down to 1 okay and then between the wavy parentheses uh, we have the statements that are being executed as the um, as the for statement works um, through all the the x um, settings okay so this is the for statement so let's go back to the Arduino sketch um, so in inside the, the for statement we have now a pin mode command and we have a digital write command so in the pin mode command if you remember from the LED tutorial there we can set whether a digital pin is an input or an output here we set it to an output because all the pins drive the LEDs and so the, the for loop now runs from 2 to 9 right these are just the uh, pins that we're using to drive the LEDs so all of these pins are being set to output and then in the digital write command we set them low this is just to make sure that all of them are uh, zero when the uh, Arduino starts after the reset okay on to the main Arduino loop so here void loop and in here this is uh, what the Arduino does on and on and on until you uh, turn it off okay so we have another for statement now we define a variable called i and it goes from 0 to 7 right until it is smaller than 8 and we increment in one steps and the next commands here inside the for loop there we have an if statement so let's see how an if uh, a statement works so back to the Arduino reference we go here reference and then we go here if else that's what we're really using in the uh, sketch and so in an, in, an, in an if statement we have a condition and if that condition is uh, true so if the result here is 1 essentially then between the wavy parentheses there are some uh, commands that are being then executed in this case if we have an if statement with an else then else is being executed if this statement is not true so if it's true we get action A and if it is not true or zero then we get action B okay let's see how we use this in the Arduino sketch so we're back in the uh, uh, main loop so the if statement here use, uh, r says now bit read counter comma i and that uh, the condition here is that this is one so the, the, the double equal sign uh, is a, um, a compare statement so let's go back to the reference so we can scroll down here to the comparison operators and so you see here that if you want to uh, test uh, that two um, things are equal then you use the uh, double uh, equal signs if you wanted to test for not equal then you would use the exclamation mark, exclamation mark and the equal sign then there is of course less than greater than and less than or equal to and greater than or equal to okay back to the Arduino code um, okay so what does this mean here bit read counter comma i 
So here basically we, we, we want to know if the if bit number i in the counter uh, variable, remember that was defined as a byte up here, so if bit number i is a 1, then we write the corresponding pin, and since we start counting the pins from 2 to 9, if um, uh, bit 0 were 1, then we would have to, s to uh, set pin 2 high, so here we have a plus 2 therefore, so in if if this is true, if this pin is 1, then we would set the corresponding output pin of the Arduino to high in, and that would turn on the LED that is connected. If on the other hand we find a 0, right, then we write a low uh, uh, into this pin and the LED would be off. So let's have a quick look at the uh, bit read command. That is a, a pretty interesting command. Um, there's here a section bits and bytes in the reference and here we have all these uh, commands with which we can directly address bits or access bits inside a, um, a variable in the Arduino sketch and so we're using here bit read and if you see here bit read is defined first the number from which to read so this is our variable the counter and then which bits to read and so this starts at zero for the least significant or rightmost bit, so the one that has the smallest uh, power of 2. Okay, so let's go back to the Arduino code. Okay, so this is the, the if statement here, so if we find a 1 at a bit, we turn the LED on, if we find a 0, we turn it off. And we do this for all 8 uh, bits that we have in the counter, this is what we do in this for loop. Okay, and so every time we do that for a for a certain counter uh, uh, setting, then we have a delay of 100 milliseconds just to slow it down a little bit. If we wouldn't put that in here, it would count so fast we could not see it. The LEDs would just uh, a flicker, um, but we wouldn't really be able to see what the counter does. So every time it counts the counter up, it pauses here for 0.1. Uh, seconds, 100 milliseconds. Okay, and then we increase the counter by 1. And so this here basically counts the counter from 0 to 255 and then it goes back to 0. It lapses to 0 because we have only 8 bits in the um, counter variable. Okay, so this uh, would make the counter work, but we have some more commands down here. And so we also want to see in the serial port, we want to use the, the serial port of the Arduino now to feed back the counter number, the current counter number, and we also want to see the binary number that corresponds to that to that counter number. And so we have here three interesting commands that are very useful um, in uh, in uh, general when it comes to debugging Arduino code. So uh, a very convenient way to to learn what a certain variable is doing in your sketch is to use the um, serial print command. So up here we start the serial port in the setup and that then allows us to use these serial print commands. And so the first serial print, that prints the counter as a decimal number. So this is the, the uh, simplest way to use this statement because we, all we have to do is put the variable in, in the parenthesis and then it will send it back to the, uh, to the, uh, um, to the computer through the USB and then we can use the uh, serial monitor to view what is being sent from the Arduino here. Then the next serial print that is a text string that we simply enter can enter here between quotation marks inside the parentheses. So I say here as binary number uh, column and then um, the next serial print statement that prints the counter number now as a bi binary number. So by putting comma bin here, that tells the print command that now we want the counter as a binary number. So what we expect to come through the serial monitor is first a decimal number, then this text string, always the same for each counter position, and then we get the binary number. There's one little detail. You notice here the print is not just a standard print but we say a print ln and that means that after printing this here a line feed is being attached that means that the serial monitor will go into the next line. 
So let's see what um, what really comes back to the to the uh, serial monitor on the computer. And so we can click here on serial monitor in the Arduino IDE, and it takes a little while. And so now you see here one as binary number one, two as binary one, and so forth. And so you can see here we can turn this off for a moment here by turning off auto scroll. We can see here that 69, for example, would be 1000101. Zero 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 one zero one. Then 70, we count one up, right? So it goes here from 1 at the end to 2, and so forth. Uh, one important thing, if we set it here to 9600 baht, then we need to make sure that the, um, that the uh, serial monitor is also set to 9600. We could set it to other speeds, right? If 9600 isn't fast enough, we could use uh, here some of the higher baud rates. Now it's time to build it and play with it. This concludes the in-class practice binary LED counter. Thanks for watching.